Welcome to News for Hearing Impaired. I'm Shubhain Dughosh with my colleague Neetu. Let's begin with the top story. Militants today opened heavy fire at an army camp in Nagrota on the outskirts of the city, leaving two Javans injured. A fierce gun battle is underway at the site. Militants opened heavy fire on security men deployed at the army unit in Nagrota Belt. In view of the attack, the Jammu Srinagar National Highway has been closed for traffic in the area. The district administration has closed all schools in Nagrota as a precautionary measure. An alert has been sounded in Jammu City. In another encounter, one BSF Jawan was injured in the gun battle with the infiltrating militants along the border in Samba area. There were reports of some suspicious movement in the area, following which it was immediately cordoned off. A BSF patrol was fired upon by miscreants holed up there. The RBI has increased from the bank withdrawal limits beyond 24,000 rupees a week set by the government on the midnight of November 8 following demonetization. These withdrawal can be done only after deposits made in new notes of 500 rupees and 2,000 rupees denomination. It said the step was being taken to increase the circulation of money which has been impeded due to hesitation on the part of the people to make deposits following the curtailment on withdrawals. The RBI circular noted the withdrawals of deposits can be made in current legal tender notes beyond the current limits, preferably available higher denomination bank notes of 2,500 are to be issued for such withdrawals. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has introduced the Taxation Laws Second Amendment Bill 2016 in the Lok Sabha. The bill seeks to impose a higher rate of tax and penalty in respect of undisclosed incomes. The amendment has proposed to tax at 50% the unaccounted demonetized cash that is disclosed voluntarily till the 30th of December. After the date, a steep of 85% tax and penalty would be levied on undisclosed wealth that is discovered by the authorities. A 33% surcharge on the tax will take the total levy to 50%. The bill proposes a Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana 2016 wherein the unaccounted, now banned, 500 and 1,000 rupee notes deposited in banks between 10th of November and 30th of December will be taxed at 30% plus a 10% penalty. The army has said Pakistan has direct role in mutilation of a soldier's body along the line of control in Machil sector of Kupwara district on 22nd of November. In a statement, an army officer said, the search leads to recoveries that indicate Pakistan's complicity. Three soldiers were killed and the body of one of them was mutilated when infiltrators had ambushed an army patrol in the Machil sector. The eatables and other items recovered from the area show the marking of Pakistan Defense Force, Pakistan Standard and the night vision bears the seal of government property which is made by the US and used by the Pakistan Army. In a joint operation with police of Tamil Nadu and Telangana, NIA has arrested three persons suspected to be part of a group sympathizing with Al-Qaeda in Madurai. The three were believed to be involved in five blast cases in court premises of Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka since April. The three arrested persons will be produced before the local courts in Chennai and Madurai for seeking transit remand for taking them to NIA Special Court at Bengaluru. And with that, we've come to the close of this bulletin. Namaskar.